Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the stairs. We also added some doors. And here, we're going to continue working on this. So let's start off by adding in the vanity and also um, the toilet. So let's go to insert, load family, and just go back to the main, and then go to plumbing, architecture, and then fixtures, and then go to water closet, where we have the 2D domestic. We don't need the 3D because it's just going to make everything heavy or the file heavy. So the 2D is just a representation. So at least we have it right there. After that, once you load it, um, it's just easier for you to just type in CM. So by, by clicking on CM, it will directly um, you, you can basically directly add everything instantly without you going back to architecture and then clicking on component and then place component. So as you can see, there's a lot of step and then you, you will need to uh, look for it right here. And once you have so many things loaded in the family, it's actually very hard to look for it. So if I were you, every time you insert something, uh, add it immediately so that you could use the CM um, command properly. So now let's go back to insert again, load family. Here, we need to go back to fixture and then here in fixture, we need to go to urinal, sorry, not urinal, which is sink. And then we have some vanity right here. I'm going to use this, uh, the round one. So I'm going to click open and then type in CM again. And then here we could place the vanity. And then I'm going to click on space bar to change orientation. I want it to be facing like that right here let's go to annotate and let's add in a detailed line thin line will be good enough and we're just going to add in a thin line right here to represent the countertop like that also we're going to add in the same thing right here as well so cm as you know this will be the laundry room slash the pantry room if you want so let's add in something right here and then let's add in the detail line to represent the, the top right here the work surface or whatever you want to call it and then we have um, let's add in so let's go back right here and we're gonna add in so let's go to main and then specialty equipment domestic mid-range and then we have washer right here So let's use this, click on open, and then type in CM again. So that's the washer and dryer. Most of the time there's um, the washer and dryer. Uh, I'm just gonna add two. The reason for that is um, here in North America, some um, we don't have a, 
we barely have washer and dryer combination. So it's either um, a washer or a dryer. Right now, I don't want the label to be shown. So I'm going to click on that edit type and then just uncheck this. So that's fine. And then now we could just move this all the way at the back like that. And then we're going to copy that. So CO or just click on under modify and this command. So right now, at least we have washer or dryer right here. What we can also do is change the label. So the description or washer dryer, uh, what we could do is, let's see if we could just do washer right here. And then here, let's do edit type, duplicate. And then I'm just, I'm not gonna put any name right here. So here we could do the dryer. And then show label. And then here, because we duplicated the washer only. And the problem with that is it's overlapping. That's the only thing that I don't like that. So might as well just uncheck those. So type mark is washer. And then here, type mark is dryer. Let's see if tagging is much better. DG. Or it's just better to just add in washer like that and dryer. I think we just need, I just want it to be simplified like that. So at least everybody will know what those symbolizes. So now let's continue. I'm not sure if we should add in um, an opening right here. So it, maybe later on we could decide. But now let's go and add in the furnitures for here. So we're going to go to insert load family. And then let's go to the main and then furniture. Uh, let's add in the tables first. So let's go to table. So first thing first, the dining table. I like this one. So I'm going to click open and then type in CM. Right there. Uh, and what we can do is we can make it bigger so we could just edit this and just we don't need to duplicate anything here because this is something that we could, we know that it's not going to be changed much so now we're not going to complicate anything about height we're just going to maintain it the regular height but in terms of width, we could change it to 1200 and then the length, let's change that to 2200. I know this is big, but we can actually make it much bigger. So in terms of length, let's try 2500. I think that's perfect for that space. Let's load it. That's sorry. Sorry, let's just close this. And then now let's load more. So let's load family. 
um, and then let's add in the seating and then go to seating right here and let's add in this one after that type in cm and let's add the chairs like so and then space bar and then add it at each end but let's add it on one side first and try to make everything symmetrical so here and then click draw axis mirror and then here as well select this draw axis mirror so that's fine everything is right there this will be the kitchen area and then now this will be the living room so let's add in the furniture for the living room first um, probably in the next video we're going to add in the kitchen so that's something that we can do so load family we're here at the seating anyway so let's add in the chair for this which we're going to use corbo for the sofa cm um, and then let's add it right here we, we could just add that edit that later on so here another corbo but the chair cm and then we could just add it right here So in terms right here, we could make this one wider. So let's just edit this. And then in terms of the width, let's add this one 2500. Click apply and then OK. As you can see, it became wider, so which is perfect. This one as well, let's make this one wider for this space. We can make this one 1200 okay so that's that looks perfect and then let's add in a coffee table which we we should just go back here and then table and then coffee table we have it right here and then type in cm I know there's different kinds of preset already right here. So now we could just click here and just press space bar. And then we should just edit the depth right here or the width. So here we could just put this one around 600. So I think that's perfect for the space. And then here, let's load different one as well. Um, let's go back to furniture. And then let's go to storage. We have an entertainment a center right here. We could add this one. And then CM. And then let's just change the width and then the depth. So the depth here is 610. We could change this to 500. And then for the width, let's change this to around 3000. So you can see it becomes wider. We could just align this AL and that's perfect. We could just use the arrow key to change the width right there and that looks perfect. Let's not forget about this area which will be the family room 
Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a table. So load in family. We could just add in some shelvings. So the shelvings is that's good for anything that you want to use the space up for. So let's add in shelvings right here. That will represent that. Load family again. Let's add in a credenza. Credenza is for the opening right here. I think it's perfect for the entrance. So where can where they can add in a key ball there so that once they enter they just need to put anything right there and then um, we could add in some seating right here and then we already have it here not the credenza table but the credit uh, the desk so the credenza is a different between a table a desk so I'm going to use this. I want it to be wider. So just a desk here. Maybe some computers right here for the kids. And what we could do is we could just change the width. So maybe 2500. And then the depth should be just around 600 will be good enough. Let's choose a line. And then here for the depth, let's change it to probably 750. Okay, that's good. And then let's add or insert more to make the space much better. So we have furniture. Um, let's add in a seating right there as well. So which one is best for the seating there? Let's use executive. So CM. Let's add it right there and then right here. And then we could basically add same one right here. So this click and then CS create similar so that's how it's good to have to use CS to make everything faster just now that you have it you can use it so we could add in a couch right here or the TV right here so we could just add in a TV or a different chair right here a sofa chair let's use this one instead so cm so a technique that uh, or a tip that I could uh, show you is as you can see it changed the type of orientation once you point once you put your cursor to anything that has a different um, angle which is this um, opening of the door as you can see it follows along with that so that's something that you could use instead of you um, clicking here and then rotating yourself so it's a, a lot faster to just do this so here I could do that
and then after that once i click that i could just move it like that see m again and then i'm gonna click it like that and then now i could just move it like this so it's just a fast way of doing that let's load something here again like a table some circular table so this one this is perfect for this one cm and then let's add in some tv right here because this is the family room so flat screen cm and let's just put it right here and then we can make it bigger there we go let's add in some decorative pieces right here um, let's add in some lights so let's go back to the main and then let's go to lighting architecture internal and then let's add some table lamp so cm table lamp right here okay so now we just need to move it right there before you move it you want to make sure that it's the elevation is different from the elevation right here because if we check this one the height here is height is 762 so now in order for this to be shown it needs to be higher than 762 so 762 will be good and then this one as well 762 and now once you place it right there 762 and it will be shown there we go then low family again I want something a floor lamp cm right here there we go so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.